with you again on After Dark. Another best of. And tonight, some of our guests, uh, Spike Milligan, Sharon O'Neill. You know, look at Sharon in a, in a good, strong way. This is interviews from last year, of course. The minor on the discords, other guests will be Ignatius Jones, Valerie Landsberg, Vince Sorrenti, which means there's going to be a lot of humour in tonight's show. Sheba, the all-girl group, Keithy Scott, another humorous fella. We'll start it off musically with a China girl, David Bowie, who killed him in 83 here in Australia. And then another great oldie, this is fabulous, Twilights and What's Wrong with the Way I Live. First up, David Bowie. This is a card I received from Spike, and obviously not the only one to get one either. Uh, you're there with that lady who passed you up, unfortunately. She just gave me up to this guy. What's her name? Chuck. Chuck, baby. Chuck yeah, Windsor. He just, <laughs> just went out last week. Bit player at the palace. Mm. Now, on this card, you say... Yeah, you went very quite the wrong. We didn't have a good time that long ago. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter with you guys? That's, they the appliance has slipped. Now. It's serious time. <laughs> it's, it's serious not. time at the old Channel 7. It says here, dear Denny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear Denny. <laughs> uh, uh, there, this is to tell you I'm still alive. The coffin was empty. I'm coming out to prove it. Love, Spike. What is that all about? Signed by his mother, <laughs> who's also not alive. Yes, sir. Farewell to us, question mark. Don't you? I just wrote it, Donny. I thought I'd rather write by hand. Each one I wrote personally. It's very nice of you. It was very nice of you. Don't get many letters for you. Can you tell me about the coffin, though? I, the coffin? Yeah, what does that... You want to know about coffins? You want to know what does that lead to? The coffin was empty, but I'm coming back. Well, I mean... Uh, you know, I'm so old now. I mean, my manager, Patrick, says, stop saying it, Spike. You know, he said, people are not going to tell because they think you're dead. They're going to turn up the first night with wreaths. Right. Like this, yeah. And so that's what you were getting at. You're 65, aren't you? Dead. And dead. I'm actually dead. <laughs> I've been dead eight years, and nobody has the courage to tell me. Now, this guitar beside you was given to you by... Uh, uh, George Harrison. When? Oh, but uh, just after the breakup, um, I was very... Um, I was uh, into Beatles, like, because these guys, right. yeah, I was really into Beatles in a big way. And uh, I thought they're, apart from being charismatic, mm. that's a word I'll find out about later, folks. I made it out of a jumbo concert. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm drinking, but another half bottle. Yeah, and right, I, and I, George Harrison, I went to his little house, at, uh, he's got a house at Henley. Yeah. And uh, we had a party one night there, and uh, we were talking a long time, and uh, he said, no, Spike, he's talking like that. Hello, Spike, how are you? Mm. Oh, you like your humour, Spike? He said, do you like our music? I said, yeah, lovely, great. I said, I was doing music before you come along. Right. He says, all right, then do some on this. And gave me this guitar. This guitar is hist historical, really, because this is the guitar that uh, they did the recording of uh, yesterday. Really? The Lennons and... Uh, and oh, yes, yeah, great. Okay. I can't play because it's not hooked up, you know. No. la da dee la da 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 dee 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 la da dee 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 doo 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 Long time ago, mm -hmm. it's not hooked up, so you can't hear it, yeah? We, we yeah. understand. It should be a harp, according to my reports. <laughs> what I've done is to beat the critics who say Spike Milligan is dead and buried in Woi Woi next to his mother. Those lakes. Mm. You actually had worked with a band called Shina, is that yes. correct? And was that in Asia? Uh, we started off in New Zealand and we did about six months in Singapore and then various other areas of Asia. Uh, any, any guys with you today that were in China? No. Yeah. Oh, Brent. Yeah, Brent Thomas. Uh, my husband. <laughs> 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 you forgot about him. You forgot me yours? I love his biographical notes. I've been all I've been here 48 hours in Australia. <laughs> Who's the new Prime Minister? You've got it all. Uh, Mr. Hawke. <laughs> Is it still the same Queen? Johnny, if I could start with you first, the D minor thing with the paint and and getting yourself dressed up all the time. It's yeah. like an alter ego for you, isn't it? Oh, in a way, yes. When did it start? Oh, about three years ago, longer than three years, about three and a half years ago. That was be with the band, or had you been doing Actually, no, I was in another band, and we'd been sick of playing with the guitarist, so we decided to do something different, right. and this is what we did. <laughs> Have you ever thought of doing a musical or any uh, stage show of sorts? Have you thought, thought of about? doing a bank? Yeah, or a bank. <laughs> more money boy, in boy. <laughs> <laughs> No, have you? No, I don't think so. I don't, have we? Just tell us about this sexist thing that you, you got labelled a couple of weeks ago for a track called, listen to this, Suck. S-U-C-K. Can you explain uh, yeah. what that song's about? Oh dear, oh dear. Well, I think it's go well in Woi Woi. <laughs> They're just getting used to women's ankles, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Can you explain it, please? Yeah, I, I think this song was uh, <laughs> showing that we're not chauvinistic. Right. 
and uh, that it was playing up for, you know, both sides. Uh -huh. And you can take suck many ways. Obviously, that rider took it one way uh -huh. and decided on that. What are the other ways you can take it? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Uh, just give us a line so that we understand. Sucked in, Donny. Sucked in, thank you. There you go, there's one. Joylene Hemouth, well, what's happened to Joylene? <sighs> what hasn't happened to Joylene? <laughs> I, I, I could go on. Yeah. Jesus, could I go on? <laughs> no, well, Joy is in what I would call a state of semi-retirement. Um, that's somewhere between a state of full intoxication and uh, unemployment. She's going to, but she's gone back to school. Uh, wants to, you know, brush up on her makeup. God knows she needs to. And uh, she's teaching piano to adolescent children and middle-aged housewives. Just because you're in right here doesn't mean I interfered. Now I'm wondering if we can feel the same. carry on with the Jimmy and the Boys thing. Will that be as outrageous? In other words, uh, what my mean? personal career will be just as outrageous as it always has been. I, I'm a sure. pretty irre irrepressible streak in me, but no. um, there, ca there came a time in the whole Jimmy and the Boys thing when in the nightly bottle of vodka, mm. uh, I mean, I just, I rang up various doctors and they all assured me that a liver machine was out of the question. <laughs> And that um, once it went, it was gone, right. and you know there was just nothing I could do. So, so you I really did have to, yeah. yeah, I had to calm down, cool off, you know, take a break, um, which I did uh, by, by sneaking into theatre through the back door mm -hmm. and had a great time touring around Australia. And uh, now I'm thoroughly immersed in that, as as well as the rock and roll thing, and my solo career is a uh, going prospect, and right. you know it's all really exciting.